Hey Southo, it's Mrs. Z from the Southo Library, back with another read aloud. Today I am going to read Kwanzaa, a book about the Kwanzaa holiday. It's by Lisa M. Harrington. This is another nonfiction book. Reading with permission from Scholastic Books. Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. It is time to celebrate. Kwanzaa is a holiday that honors African-American culture and life today. Kwanzaa is a time for families to gather together. Kwanzaa is a week-long celebration at the end of the year. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days from December 26th to January 1st. Families gather together. They eat African food and share stories and give gifts. Fast fact. Kwanzaa comes from an African word. It stands for the first fruits picked at the harvest. How it began. Kwanzaa began in the United States in 1966. An African American teacher named Maulana Karenga started it. He wanted people to learn about their past in Africa. Maulana Karenga is a professor of African studies. Seven ideas are at the heart of Kwanzaa. People try to live by these ideas. Each one is celebrated on a different day of Kwanzaa. So here's a chart and it says the seven ideas of Kwanzaa. Here's the day and the idea. Day one on December 26 is Umoja, unity standing together. Day two on December 27th is Kujichagolaya, being true to yourself. Day three, December 28th, is Ujima, working together. Day four on December 29th is Ujama, sharing. Day five on December 30th is Nia, having a purpose or goal. Day six on December 31st is Kuumba, creating something. And day seven on January 1st is Imani, faith in yourself and your community. So those are the seven ideas of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa symbols. Families decorate their homes in red, black, and green. Black stands for the African-American people. Red stands for their struggles, and green stands for hope. The Kwanzaa flag shown at the upper left is called a ben bendera. To get ready for Kwanzaa, people gather seven symbols. The symbols are a mat, corn, fruits, and vegetables, a candle holder, seven candles, a cup, and gifts. This photo shows a girl and her grandmother with Kwanzaa symbols. The mat is called the Mkeka. It stands for the African past. People place other Kwanzaa symbols on the mat. A Mkeka can be made of straw or other materials. People put one ear of corn for each child in their family on the mat. They place fruits and other vegetables on the mat. These are symbols of the harvest. They are called mazao. This man will place three ears of corn, one for each child on the mat. The kinara is a wooden candle holder. It holds seven candles, three red, one black, and three green. Families light one candle each night. The black candle is lit on the first night. The kinara stands for people who lived in Africa long ago. The seven candles stand for Kwanzaa's seven ideas. So the candle holder is similar to what we saw in the book about Hanukkah, the menorah. Spreading joy. To celebrate Kwanzaa, families sing, dance, and play music. Some people dress in colorful African clothing. These young girls are performing a traditional African dance. Families enjoy meals together during Kwanzaa. They also drink from a special cup called a unity cup. It is a symbol of staying together. A big feast is held on December 31st. The Kwanzaa feast includes traditional African and Southern foods. On the last day of Kwanzaa, people give homemade gifts called Zawadi. They might include a beaded bracelet and a book of African stories. The gifts reward kids for promises kept during the year. Have you kept your promises this year? 
Kwanzaa gifts are given to children who have behaved well during the year. Make a Kwanzaa hat and a glossary. And it says a celebration of seven. The number seven has important meaning during Kwanzaa. Go back through the book and find three examples of how the number seven is worked into the holiday. So there's seven days, right? And then there's seven candles. There's eight candles, but I believe it's the seven. Seven candles, yes. So it's seven candles, there's not eight candles. So hopefully you notice some similarities amongst the way that we celebrate um, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, for those of us who celebrate. A lot of it is about being with your family and togetherness, food, and traditions. That book is about Kwanzaa.